Hi everyone, it's Nathaniel, and it's time for a very special video. The video you are about to watch is a collection of all the digital artworks I created on MS Paint during my four years in high school, on the school computers when I had free time in class. I will show each piece in their highest resolution PNG format and give commentary so as to illustrate the elements and meanings of each piece more clearly. Each piece will have the title shown in the corner, along with the date it was last edited and the dimensions in pixels. So, without further ado, here is my gallery of MS Paint art made from 2013 to 2016. This first piece, simply titled 420, is my earliest work, made in late 2013. Though I did not know it at the time, 420 perfectly exemplifies all of the art I would be creating later on. Like most of my works, it features a lone figure with some developed details in the face and most prominently in the mouth. The title 420 comes from the subject's bloodshot eyes, which is often associated with being an effect of smoking marijuana, and 420 being the weed number, I decided to name this piece appropriately after that. If the lack of an interesting composition and the unfinished coloring in the fingers doesn't tell you that this was my earliest work, the immature title certainly does. Made near the end of my sophomore year, basketball shows a grotesque lone figure with some details in the face and visible, and visible gums showing in the mouth, and, like 420, minuscule pupils in the eyes. The figure is in action playing basketball. The arrangement and posing of the hands was made to seem unsettling or unnatural. This piece began a pattern in my works as a few others featured a subject matter relating to the sport basketball. Furthermore, this was the first use of text in a work of mine, and text would be featured in some of my other pieces as well. Here exemplifying that use of text is, yes, oh my god, last edited on the same day basketball was. Here we see a crude portrait of Sonny John Moore, or more commonly known as Skrillex. He is seen behind the words, yes, oh my god, being one of the most famous words associated with his hit song, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. We see Skrillex on his machine making music with grotesque hands, similar to the hands shown in basketball. On his shirt is the word, swag. This piece, titled Golden Elvis, shows the use of different brushes and techniques used to create lighting. Notice his hair. It was made using a slightly transparent brush tool. In the process of coloring his body using the fill tool, I accidentally had a spot in which his body outline was not complete, so the entire background was painted yellow along with his skin. After correcting the hole in his outline, I used the fill tool to paint the color background to paint the background white again instead of using the undo feature. What resulted was the slight yellow outline you see in his hair, as the yellow that overlapped with his hair color was not the same as the yellow in the background, so it was not changed back to white. The later was made using the usual process of making a solid black sketch and then filling in the colors with the fill tool. However, when I made this piece, the outline was made using a brush tool instead of a pencil tool, which resulted in a graduated line instead of a solid black pixel line, which is why you see the white fuzzy edges around the black outlines. Though it was a mistake, I liked the rough messy effect it created, and decided to accent it with the word sick, which was made with a small font and then enlarged, giving it a rough, low resolution look. Notice the rollerblader's butt cheeks. Here is another basketball related piece titled Yeet, in which a black basketball player is ruining a white basketball player trying to shoot a basketball. With this work, I wanted to put extra detail in the shoes, as basketball shoes are often the coolest looking shoes. This piece titled Scoop has probably become my most well known piece. I shared it with a friend of mine, Bronson Chong, who shared it with his friends, and so on. And as a result, the expression Scoop was formed amongst my classmates, particularly those who are in marching band. This piece depicts a basketball player scooping up the rock from the clutches of another basketball player, and again, you can see some detail put into the shoes. 
This piece, called Swagga, depicts a blue-skinned man with a pompadour displaying his dope threads. Like the basketball pieces, I put extra detail in the shoes. In this piece, titled Mono, meaning monkey in Spanish, I decided to experiment with several different things. First, I used the spray tool to give the monkey a fuzzy look for his hair. I also experimented with making this a surrealist piece by pl simply placing a shadow under the banana and making the monkey rest on a table in a human pose. I also wanted to give it a more intriguing, non-traditional composition by balancing an overwhelming amount of positive space towards the left and by making the shadow of the banana not entirely seen on the surface but only partially. Trick or Yeet is a piece I made around Halloween of 2014. It is a callback to my earlier piece, Yeet, but with a Halloween theme. I also made a variant with a picture of a spooky house I found online, using it to occupy the space in the background. It is the first time I had used an outside source as an addition to a work. When I made Fast Boy, I decided to get more ambitious with the amount of detail in the lighting and color, along with making a figure that was more exaggerated or grotesque by making it go very fast, like Mono. I tried to make it intriguing by putting the subject in a pose in which he is sitting on nothing. Two months later, after I had made Fast Boy, I decided to make my first artwork depicting a clearly female subject, Fast Girl. I realized that I had never made a single drawing of a female previous to this piece. I chose the color palette of Fast Girl to complement the color palette of Fast Boy. And after completing Fast Girl, I decided to put them both in one complete piece titled Together Forever, in which they are speeding towards one another. Goblin is a simple piece showing a smiling goblin with an earring on his left ear, saying his catchphrase, I got the magic touch. High Snail was made only using line tools. This gives it a very smooth and clean look. I also made a censored variant called Sober Snail, which features the snail this time without smoking the marijuana. This piece titled OMK is a look into the raw sketches I make before adding color with the fill tool. I believe it was originally going to be called OMG because that's what I imagined the subject to be saying as he is laying back, but I misspelled OMG. As you can see the subject has details in the face including big nostrils and eyelashes. This simple sketch is titled Creator, and it was meant to be part of a project in my engineering class in which we had to make a packaging for a product and put the picture of the creator of the product on the packaging. This is an unfinished portrait of my engineering teacher, Mr. O. Joseph Madunemi, titled Madu, and it was made as part of a race to see who could draw him the best on MS Paint. Bofa is a still life I made depicting two peanuts colored with the brush tool. It is meant to tell the joke both of these nuts visually. Bonana is another still life I made as a sort of practice to see how close I could get to making a realistic looking banana. And it is also colored with the brush tool. This piece titled Mouse depicts a mouse after he has taken the cheese from a mouse trap with a satisfied look. But little does he know he is about to face the consequences of his actions. I made another censored variant without the blur of the mousetrap in action. What Am I is a piece I started without really knowing where it would go. It was simply a drawing of a domino I made using a brush tool, but then I added a face asking what am I in reference to me not knowing what I was really drawing. This simple piece titled Every Drawing Ever was made to be a sort of critique on how I feel many drawings of girls seem to look like. It was meant to show that the girls in these kinds of drawings are always white and they have long eyelashes, small noses, and always a slightly open mouth with full, brightly colored lips. This piece titled Laughing Boy is yet another grotesque drawing of a face with a detailed mouth showing gums and several teeth. I made a variant titled Scary Boy, in which the mouth is colored black in order to make it look more frightening, similar to the way the characters in the horror video game Five Nights at Freddy's are designed. Shade Man is another simple sketch of a shady looking character wearing a hoodie and smoking a cigarette. It was made in an attempt to see how well I could replicate the look of fabric in a drawing, but I never finished it. 
Half Man, following this pattern of simple unfinished sketches, depicts a distressed man split in half. Like the previous sketches, I didn't really know where I was going with this. Here we have yet another simple sketch titled Vegeta, which is a sort of fan art for the character Vegeta from the show Dragon Ball Z. I was inspired to draw this after thinking about how I like the way they draw shoes on Dragon Ball Z. Sharingan is another piece you could call fan art. It depicts a face full of rage performing the Genjutsu Sharingan from the show Naruto. There is blood in his mouth. After making a series of very simple sketches, I began to be dissatisfied with my work. I felt that I wasn't pushing the envelope far enough. I thought to myself, I need to show the world the true potential MS Paint has as an art making program. Thus, around Christmas of 2015, I began my most ambitious project yet. Happy Holidays. I consider this piece to be my magnum opus. It is a portrait of Saint Nicholas visiting a house to leave presents during Christmas. However, as you may have noticed, this is not the jolly old Saint Nick we know and love. I wanted to create a very detailed scene with this piece to make it seem like you just went downstairs Christmas morning, excited to open your presents under your Christmas tree when you find yourself face to face with this stranger, this cold and unfamiliar creature sitting on a throne asking, have you behaved yourself? A passive-aggressive question, as if to see if you really think you truly deserve the gifts you have. I spent a while making sure every single detail was right. The background is by far my busiest background in any work, and took very careful planning to make, as you can't make layers in MS Paint, so all that you see had to be very carefully planned so that the background was built correctly. Please take a moment to notice all the details. From the fact that the fire is burning, meaning that this creature made its way down the chimney without burning, to the creature's feet made to look like hands, and the black glove hanging as a stocking, signifying that this creature took its gloves off of its feet and took the liberty of hanging them over the fireplace to rub its grimy hand feet all over your mother's favorite rug. I ask that you appreciate all the details I put into this as much as I do. And, as you can see, I left a space in the creature's speech bubble so that you can personalize it and write in a recipient's name if you wish to give this as a Christmas card to someone. And uh, here's a little drawing I made called Mountains. And I made it using a brush tool. I used a reference image. Uh, and this was my attempt at making something that was like really art. <laughs> anyway. But with this piece titled Wrestle with Jimmy, I was actually able to achieve making art. Over the course of my senior year, the song Say It Ain't So by Weezer became a long-running joke with me. Anyone who was around me for more than a few minutes during this time would have heard me sing the song over and over or play it on repeat. This was because it got stuck in my head a lot. As a tribute to this, I decided to make a replica of the cover for the Blue Album with my favorite lyrics of Say It Ain't So at the top. I used the actual cover as a reference image and I used the eyedropper tool to select colors from the actual cover. And it was getting to a point where I would have replicated the entire cover pixel for pixel if I didn't stop. So I stopped at a point where it just looked like weird pixel art. This piece called Movie was a concept I had in my head that was so ambitious I didn't know how to do it. So when I tried to make something, this was what resulted. It was supposed to be a drawing of a shot from a movie filmed in a forest. After a few ambitious pieces, I toned it down and returned to my roots making a simpler drawing with this piece, Rubik's Rage, which depicts a person going rage mode over not being able to solve a Rubik's Cube. After this, we have another return to form titled Ah Ah. It depicts a strange lanky man, very similar to basketball and my other pieces, but this stranger has a speech bubble saying, Howdy, you can call me daddy. I named this piece Ah Ah because at first this is what I imagined the subject to be saying, similar to No Face from Spirited Away, like this, Ah Ah, but it could also be something you would say were you to come across this man. Epic Vine Compilation is somewhat of a social critique on how every Vine compilation video on YouTube has a thumbnail of a woman in underwear or a bikini, and how that is used to get people to click on it. Clown Boy is yet another drawing of a grotesque face, this time using a bit of layering to create an effect of makeup applied onto the face, which adds a little sense of realism. 
These last two pieces are part of another long-running joke I had near the end of my high school career, similar to Wrestle with Jimmy. I drew this piece called, I had a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt, she was killing me in that miniskirt, or I-H-A-B-S-O-M-W-T-S-S-W-K-M-I-T-M-S to illustrate the imagery in my favorite lyrics of any country song. Furthermore, this was my attempt at drawing another female figure, as I often draw gross male figures. I also made another piece with a background found on the internet of a barbecue. In order to add more imagery and to establish a scene, I named this piece with the background after the actual song, something like that. Thus concludes my gallery of artworks from 2013 to 2016. Thank you for watching this video, and as a gift to the public, to the world, I have uploaded all these artworks to the internet for free public use. Feel free to print these out, hang them up on the wall, frame them, you know, give them to your friends and family as gifts. You can find the link to my works in the description below the video, or on the annotation in the video. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this gallery.